Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and welcome to a new video. I uh, hope you're having a great weekend so far. And in this video, we'll talk about Jasmine, of course. Uh, or of course, yeah, I mean, you, you clicked on the video. Of course, we're going to talk about Jasmine. And first of all, I was wrong because, uh, well, I mean, Wednesday spoiled the fun. Uh, because what I said, I think on Tuesday, what I still said is that I thought it was most likely if you looked at this, that this level right here between 0 0.62 and 0 0.6 cents. So I did expect a drop down to that level. Um, I thought that technically as a support was still um, good enough to hold and to support this uptrend, which we had, which you can see very clearly. But eventually, I mean, look, I, I, I did expect that we would get some sort of a flush like this. Um, but the last time that, that we had a flush like this, so, so the 10th of December, Jasmine did not react that much to it. This time around, we did. And you can see that, I mean, if you look at if you look at the funding rate heat map right here, what you'll see is that we had a ton of yellow, which means that the funding rates were very high on most altcoins you could trade. So that means that everybody that was holding leveraged positions was paying a lot of funding fees, um, which, I mean, th that just means the market is over leveraged. So then at some point of time, you're going to get a flush. That's just the way it is. I mean, we've seen it a couple of times already in the last two months. Um, and for Jasmine this time around, that meant a big drop, all right? So that caused us to drop down below six cents. 0 0.57 held for a bit longer, but right now we actually dropped down lower. So the big question is, is uh, well, can we actually recover from this? And that's hard to say. I mean, I do still think, look, my, my overall outlook on the markets in the next couple of months is bullish. Uh, so I do still think that at some point of time, Jasmine can recover. But whether it's possible on the short term really depends on the short term price movements. If you look at Jasmine right now, I mean, the open interest has fallen down ridiculously. Like it was also increasing a lot right here. So Jasmine just was very over leveraged. Uh, has been decreasing over the last day, had another decrease, but also recovery. Uh, that's also what you can see in the price. Uh, a bearish drop right here. That was a decrease in open interest. And then we're, we're opening up some more positions right now. But the thing is, is that Jasmine right now has a very strong support level right here between 0 0.58 and half a cent. So 0 0.5 cents or 0 0.005. So that's the main support level right here. And I'm getting cold. Uh, that's, uh, that's for later. So uh, if you hear that, that's me. Um, but that's the main support level. And the, what, what needs to happen for us to have a bullish Jasmine in the next month is this support level needs to hold and provide enough support for Jasmine to at some point of time break above our main resistance right here between 0 0.58 and 0 0.6 cents. And if Jasmine does that, we're probably going to consolidate in this region for a while, but then at least we are we, we have some 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 bullish momentum on the horizon again. So this is what needs to happen. For now, I think it's more likely. I, I don't see a reason why we would have a lot of bullish momentum. So for now, I think it's most likely that we'll drop down towards that half a cent level, find support there, and then uh, consolidate and wait for the ETF news. I think that's most likely. I mean, if, if the ETF gets rejected, we'll, we'll fall, we'll dump down. If it gets approved, we'll break out. So it's waiting for that, uh, and it's way better to 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 assess the assess the market structure for Jasmine after that. But right now, just in in theory, uh, that's what needs to happen. We have a strong support here. I think that's going to hold us. And what I think is most likely right now is that that will provide a a consolidation down here, eventually leading to a bullish breakout and more bullish momentum and more bullish opportunities. But that really does depend on the ETF de deadline and uh, decision. So I'll keep you updated on that. But for now, I think that's what you need to know. If you do have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to check out my premium and signal group, but that's up to you. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.